So the question is, find the highest common factor and lowest common multiple of the following number pairs. And in my previous video I've explained what the highest common factor, the HCF, and the lowest common multiple, the LCM, what they are, what they mean. Okay, so make sure you have seen that video before you try this one. So they give me number pairs at uh, 12 and 18, for instance, for question A. And I have to find the highest common factor, the HCF. Let's start with that. Well, which factor do they have in common? Eh? Which do they both have, but then the highest one? Let's write down the factors of the two numbers, 12 and 18. And again, I write it always in factor pairs because then I will never forget any one of them. Yeah, so 12, one times 12, so they are factors of 12. Two times six, so two and six are factors of 12. Three times four, so three and four, factors of 12. And the next one is four times three, but I already have them. Yeah? So 12 has one, two, three, four, six, and 12. So those are the factors of 12, and those are six factors in total. Let's do the same for 18, so one times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, 4 times nothing, 5 times nothing, and then 6 times 3 again. Got those. So also 18 has 6 factors, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Now what is the highest common factor? Well, they both have 1 in common, but is that the highest one? They both have a 2, but is that the highest one? No, because they both have a 3. But is that the highest one? No, because they both even have a six in common. And that definitely is the highest common factor. Yeah, so the highest common factor for 12 and 18 would be six. Now, what is the lowest common multiple for 12 and 18? Oh, we're talking about multiples and uh, timetables. So just write a few of those multiples down. And uh, let's do that in green, for instance. Let's start with 12. 12, and so the timetable of 12, 24, 36, 48, 16, 72, and I can go on and on and on, but let's see if I already have a common multiple, let's do the same for 18, let's write a few multiples down, 18, 36, and hang on a minute, I already see that is a common multiple. Yeah, so that should be my answer. Let's just write one more down. Uh, 54, 72, yeah, it goes on and on. Hey, they have 72 in common as well. But the LCM, the lowest common multiple in this case would be 36. Okay, it's getting a little bit messy. I apologize for that. Um, one more question. The highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 14 and 28. Just gonna put it on a new piece of paper. Um, so question B, 14, so the highest common factor and the lowest common multiple of 14 and 28. Now, let me write down those factors of 14 and 28, yeah? In order to find the highest common factor. Factors of 14, one and 14, two, and seven, uh, two times seven is 14. Three times nothing, four times nothing, five times nothing, six times nothing, and then seven times two again, and I already have that. So 14 actually only has four factors. We do the same for 28, one times 28, two times 14, three times nothing, four times seven, five times nothing, six times nothing, seven times four, but I have that already. So 28 has six factors. Well, what is the highest common one? Well, they both have seven in common, but the highest one they have in common, the highest common factor would be, or is 14. All right, let's move on to the lowest common multiple. And so we're talking about multiples, timetables. Let's write a few of those multiples down. Let's start with 14, 14, 28, 42, 56, 17, yeah, 84. You can go on and on and on. Let's do the same for 28, 28, 56, 
but hang on a minute, I can go on and waste more of my time, but I already see one they have in common, 28. So the lowest one they have in common is 28. Two times 14 is 28, and one times 28 is 28. So that will be the lowest common multiple. All right, so for the highest common factor, you check the factors of your numbers and you determine which one is the highest one, 14. For the lowest common multiple, write down a few multiples of each number and determine uh, and find out which one is the lowest one they have in common. All right, I wish you all the best and I'll see you later.